Hello and welcome back to Beckler Guitars and Repair and today we're checking out an Anukshuk Custom Flying V. This is from a small builder in Canada and it's got a lot of crazy cool specs. Let's check it out. Alright, so this thing is really cool. Um, before I get into the specs and whatnot, this was built by my friend James from Anukshuk Guitars. So I met James uh, at a building school, Hamtone School of Luthery in uh, Manitoba. And uh, he recently started in the last couple of years building his own guitars under his own brand, Anukshuk. Um, James is of Inuvaluate descent. Sorry if I butchered that pronunciation. Uh, basically, Western Canadian Inuit. And uh, yeah, Anukshuk is a rock sculpture that was made um, to mark places of reverence or hunting spots or danger or to guide travelers. Um, they were basically a rock sculpture in the shape of a human or resembling a human. And that's kind of. What they look like there. Here's a couple more examples. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. And yeah, let's just start getting into these these features because there's a lot. Um, so the body is made of sapili, which is very similar to mahogany. Um, it looks a lot like mahogany too. Um, from what I could tell on the internet, because I've never dealt with sapili before, is uh, it's a harder wood. It's a little bit more dense, so a little heavier, um, and it's got really nice grain, uh, but it's very similar to like an African mahogany. So the body is all sapili, and it's got really nice grain to it. It's a string through design. So there's ferrules in the back, or you uh, put the strings through. We've got zebra wood covers. Like uh, where our plastics would normally be are all made out of uh, zebra wood. So there's our output jack cover there. And our pick guard is all zebra wood too. It looks great. And uh, this is a kind of similar control layout to uh, a Gibson Flying V. And then we've got a Gibson Bridge with uh, Graftech saddles and we've actually got some pretty cool pickups. I'll, I'll talk about those in a minute. And then we've got an ebony fingerboard with Luminlay inlays. So Luminlay is uh, this material that uh, once you charge it up with UV light it glows. So this is great for being on stage or something like that. You can really see your fretboard um, under black light or if you charge it up beforehand, it, it glows almost in the daytime. So very cool. And just a really nice thick ebony fingerboard on this. And we've got a zebra wood truss rod cavity cover. This one has a dual action truss rod. And uh, there's a look at our inlay on our headstock. And the neck is actually a four, a three piece, rather, roasted maple. So have a look at that flame. So just gorgeous flame on this neck. Um, flamed maple and roasted maple. And I believe it's a four piece, maybe a three piece, just one sec here. Yeah, four piece roasted maple neck. And... Uh, it's got a really nice veneer in the back of the headstock. And then we have our Grover locks and tuners, which are very nice as well. And here's a look at the body. Um, that's the Sapili body. And yeah, just gorgeous grain on here. Really rich looking. And the, the pickups are pretty cool. I've never tried these before, but these are Friedman pickups. This is the Classic and the Classic Plus. Uh, they're Alnico 5 pickups, and uh, they're supposed to be kind of 
like uh, a vintage humbucker PAF sound, with a, but a little bit hotter. Um, that's what I read on the website, the description. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to try these out. There's, they've got stellar reviews online, so, yeah, I'm very excited to try that. So, okay, let's go ahead and get on the bench and just take a look at all the parts and specs. All right, weighing in at 8 pounds, 14.7 ounces. Width of the nut is a 1.68, and at the 12th, a 2.039. The neck depth at the first fret is... 0.85 and at the 12th a 0.88 all right here's a look at our neck profile so it's a it's a pretty standard C style neck profile um, it is a little bit asymmetrical which is uh, by design to make it a little bit more comfortable to use so you get a little bit more meat uh, up here by like the lower register like your uh, on this side here and then it uh, tapers off a little bit to make uh, a little bit easier to hold and play so that's really cool and then that flattens out a little bit by the 12th fret um, yeah very comfortable profile as far as chunkiness goes it's a little chunky I'd say a little closer to a 50s style neck from like Gibson rather than a 60s but uh, yeah it's maybe right in the middle between a 50s and a 60s it feels a little chunkier than a 60s but maybe not quite a 50s so yeah excellent uh, feeling neck all right we'll get our pickup readings and our Friedman pickups so the back pickup the bridge here is a classic plus and it's reading a 7.98 and the neck pickup is a classic and it's reading a 7.33 and the middle is a 3.83 and this pickup configuration is a three-way switch um, with volume volume and a tone all right, I just want to go over our gorgeous neck here pretty quickly. So yeah, we've got the flamed roasted maple headstock as well with the lumen lay inlay, the anukshuk and the anukshuk sculpture there with our zebra wood truss cover. And uh, we, this one actually has a brass nut which is very nice. It's cut perfectly. Um, and then uh, we've got a really nice dark ebony fingerboard with the inlays here. The inlays are supposed to resemble uh, cave paintings, like Inuit cave paintings. I believe so anyway. I think that's what James had said. Sorry James if I got that wrong, but that's what they, I think they are. And uh, the fretwork is is great. So we've got like some uh, medium jumbo frets and uh, they're super polished and super rounded nicely if I can just get a good look there. Yeah, super nice and rounded, super polished and super smooth feeling. So yeah, just immaculate fret work down on this guitar. It's great. And this one has a 12 inch radius, so like a Gibson, and a 24.75 inch scale length, so also like a Gibson. There's a look at our string through ferrules. And our bridge is uh, it's actually a Gibson bridge with Graftech saddles. So those saddles uh, just have a little bit of built in lubrication that prevents binding and uh, a little bit better tuning stability. Alright, here's a look at our pickups. So, here's a look at our classic Friedman pickup here, as well as our our neck cavity. So yeah, very nice clean routes. Uh, we can see it's a very, it's a long neck tenon. There's the join there. So that all looks great. And uh, yeah, like I said before, I'm pretty excited to try out these Friedmans. I've heard a lot of good things about them. So, and there's a look at our bridge pocket there. Again, nice routes, nice and clean. And there's our Friedman Classic Plus bridge humbucker. 
and here's a look at our wiring harness controls here so we've got really nice Emerson full-size pots and uh, a really nice oil paper capacitor and um, looks like a standard high-end uh, three-way switch and everything is got really nice shielding tape on there so yeah the uh, electronics all look excellent and very high quality and then here's a quick look at our output jack it's uh, just a standard higher quality output jack with a nice little route there so yeah everything looks great and super high-end electronic wise okay I just want to show off the setup here so yeah the, I set the neck nice and straight with uh, very little relief because I like to play I like my guitars to play quite low so I usually straighten out the neck and I use nines and then I try to get it as low as possible so you can see here that there is hardly any relief in the neck there's just a very slight line showing uh, the relief so I have the neck set quite straight and uh, the nut is cut really well along with the straight of the neck I can uh, fret on the third fret here and you can see that the first strings are resting just against that first fret so we got great action here up at the first fret and then at the twelfth fret I managed to get very nice low action low E at the twelfth fret I got it to about 0.75 millimeters, which is very low, which is lower than I usually put on my guitars. But uh, because the frets were so nice and level and well done on this guitar, I can I can get it down that low. And then on the high E, it's about a 0.75. So yeah, very nice low. You, even closer to maybe a 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.75. So, yeah, very, very, very nice low action, and uh, it's it really does play great. the The frets are super polished, so bending is effortless, and uh, yeah, it's just super nice and low, very buttery smooth, and the frets are just no fret sprout at all, nice and rounded, super polished frets, and uh, yeah, plays great. So yeah, excellent fret work. I'm um, able to get that super low and there's no buzz anywhere on the neck. So yeah, next up is to plug it in and see what it sounds like. Uh, I just quickly wanted to try out the Lumen Lay inlays. So I believe how you charge it is you uh, use a flashlight or maybe it's a black light. I have both here just to be safe. Um, and then uh, it should basically glow very very strongly in the dark and even a little bit just in normal daylight so okay so I've got my black light here I'm just gonna charge them up and then I've also got just a really powerful normal flashlight so both should be able to do the job quickly I think All right, so yeah, even in normal daylight, we can see that they're glowing quite a bit brighter. I'm just going to turn off the lights here.
so yeah even with that little slate I didn't do it very long at all um, but uh, even that slate charging really makes them glow quite strongly in the dark I don't know if the camera is picking that up but yeah they're illuminating very brightly alright so yeah that's really cool uh, alright let's go ahead and plug it in alright we're plugged into the Fender Deluxe Reverb reissue uh, we're using the Carl's uh, speaker soak continuator and uh, got the volume set at four, the triple set at four and a half, the bass set at four and a half, the reverb set at two and a half, and uh, we're just gonna try the clean signal and then try it with a little bit of dirt. So on the bridge pickup here. Next pick up. Alright, back to the bridge, I'm going to try it with a pick and do a little bit of strumming. pickups sound great they sound like really nice old vintage like PAFs but with a little bit more kick and uh, super well balanced yeah amazing sounding I'm gonna try it with a little bit of distortion now okay I'm on my bridge pickup <laughs>
All right, I'm just gonna play around with a little bit of fuzz now. So final thoughts on this custom built Anukshuk Flying V. It's incredible. It's an amazing guitar. It's uh, it's gorgeous. Between the flame maple neck, the really unique, cool cave painting lumen lay inlays, the thick, dark ebony fretboard, this appealy body with amazing grain with the zebra wood pick guard and input jack cover um, I mean look at that flame maple on the neck just gorgeous it's got a oil satin kind of a finish so it feels great to play super slidey super smooth um, and just great specs and hardware go toe locking tuners this thing stayed in tune like crazy brass nut zebra wood truss cover uh, it's got a volute on the back too for a little extra protection in that area, which is great. Um, it's so easy to access these upper frets. The fret, the fret work is you know immaculate, nice and rounded, perfectly level, able to play super low and uh, super bendy because they're nice and polished. The pickups sound great. These Friedman Classic Classic Pluses are amazing sounding pickups. You can play you know classic rock, harder stuff. They sound great clean as well, and uh, yeah, just a really outstanding guitar. And uh, yeah, um, I was pretty blown away by this guy. It's going to stay in my collection for a long time. Well, probably forever actually. So anyway, uh, yeah, make sure I'll, I'll put some contact details for James from Anukshot Guitars if you're interested in getting your own. Um, he's a small builder, hand builds all of his stuff. So, I mean, I'm sure the wait list would be a long time, but he does put out some incredible work. But anyway, yeah, thanks for tuning in to Beckler Guitars and Repair. That'll be it for today. Uh, I'll have more for you really soon. Thanks a lot.